module about. Decimals are frequently used in measuring values and quantities. A wall 7.25 meters long. A runner reaching the finish line at 15.34 seconds or a 1.5 liter soft drink battle. Money is also expressed in decimal form. 15 pesos and 25 centavos. 20 pesos and 10 centavos. 107 pesos and 25 centavos. It is important then that we learn mathematical operations involving decimals. This module will deal with the multiplication and division of decimals. This module is divided into two lessons. Lesson 1, multiplication of decimals. Lesson 2, division of decimals. After studying this module, you should be able to multiply and divide decimals and solve word problems involving multiplication and division of decimals. Lesson 1. Multiplication of decimals. Suppose you are in store and you want to buy a box of pencils. If a pencil costs 6 pesos and 50 centavos, how much will a box of pencils cost if it contains 12 pencils? We may come across these and other problems involving decimals in our everyday lives. They involve multiplication of decimals. It is important then that we learn how to multiply decimals. After studying this lesson, you should be able to multiply decimals and solve word problems involving multiplication of decimals. Let's study and analyze. Decimals are multiplied the same way whole numbers are. The only difference is that the decimals have a decimal point while whole numbers don't. Take note also that the decimal point has its correct place in the product, the answer in multiplication. Let's study and analyze the following examples to help you understand the process of multiplication of decimals. Example 1. A. What is the product of 0.7 and 0.8? To illustrate to you how to arrive at the correct place of the decimal point in the product, let's convert the factors into their fraction form. This time, let's multiply the factors. B. Find the product of 0.25 and 0.6. Let's follow the illustration in example A.
Notice in examples 1a and b that the number of decimal places in the product is the same as the sum of the decimal places of the factors. Example 2. Find the product of 3.7 and 1.68. Step 1. Write the multiplicand and multiplier in column with the first digits on the right aligned. Note. Choose the number with less number of digits to be the multiplier for easier computation. In this case, 3.7. Step 2. Compute for the first partial product using the multiplier 7. Step 3. Compute for the second partial product using the multiplier 3. Step 4. Add the first and second partial products to get the final product. Step 5. Put the decimal point in its proper place by counting the total number of decimal places of the factors starting from the first digit on the right going to the left. Example 3. What is the product of 235? and point 146. Step 1. Write the factors in column with the first digits on the right aligned. Note, since the numbers to be multiplied are both three-digit numbers, either of them can be used as multiplier with the other becoming the multiplicand. Step 2. Compute the first partial product using the multiplier 6. Step 3. Compute for the second partial product using the multiplier 4.
Step 4. Compute for the third partial product using the multiplier 1. Step 5. Add the first, second, and third partial products to get the final product. Step 6. Put the decimal point in its proper place by counting the number of decimal places in the multiplier starting from the first digit on the right going to the left. Take note in examples 2 and 3 that the number of digits in the multiplier is also the same number of partial products. In example 2, the two-digit multiplier has the first and second partial products. Similarly, in example 3, the three-digit multiplier has the first, second, and third partial products. Notice also in example 1 that the computed product of one-digit multiplier is the final product. There are no partial products. Let's also study and analyze the following examples with a zero in the multiplier. Example 4. What is the product of 386 and 1.50? Step 1. Write the factors with the first digits on the right aligned. Step 2. Use the multiplier 0. Notice that the first partial product is all zeros because 0 multiplied by any number is 0. Notice also in the first three examples that the partial products are added to get the final product. Since when zero is added to any number, the sum is the same number. This means that zero added to any number does not change the value of that number. Therefore, in our example, we can drop the two zeros on the left and retain the first zero on the right. This zero will be part of the first partial product. Step 3. Compute for the first partial product using the multiplier 5. Step 4. Compute for the second partial product using the multiplier 1.
step 5. Add the partial products to get the final product. Step 6. Put the decimal point in its proper place by counting the number of decimal places in the multiplier starting with the first digit going to the left. Example 5. What is 5.28 multiplied by 2.07? Step 1. Write the multiplicand and the multiplier in column with the first digit on the right align. Step 2. Compute for the first partial product using the multiplier 7. Step 3. Compute for the second partial product using the multiplier 0 first and then multiplier 2. Step 4. Add the first and second partial products to get the final product. Step 5. Put the decimal point in its proper place by counting the total number of decimal places of the factors starting from the first digit on the right going to the left. Notice in examples 4 and 5 that we have only the first and second partial products even if we used 3 digit multipliers. Why? The reason is that the product of 0 multiplied only by the first digit on the right in the multiplicand is part of either the first or second partial product depending on its position in the multiplier. If the 0 is the first digit on the right of the multiplier, like 1.50, its product is part of the first partial product. If the 0 is the second digit from the right in the multiplier, like 2.07, its product is part of the second partial product.
Let's remember. Decimals are multiplied just like whole numbers. The only difference is that decimals have a decimal point while whole numbers don't. In multiplication, the answer is called the product. The multiplicand is the number to be multiplied by another and the multiplier is the number by which the multiplicand is multiplied. The multiplicand and the multiplier are called factors. The number of decimal places in a product is the same as the sum of the decimal places of the factors. The position of the decimal point in a product is determined by the counting the total number of decimal places starting from the first digit on the right going to the left. The number of digits in the multiplier determines the number of partial products. If there is a zero in the multiplier, its product becomes part of the partial product of the digit that follows it. In a one-digit multiplier, the computed product is the final product. In solving word problems involving multiplication of decimals, the steps to follow are Step 1. Write the given information. Step 2. Determine what is asked. Step 3. Identify the operation to be used. Step 4. Write the number sentence to solve the problem. Step 5. Solve for the answer.